Bill asks, of all of the antennas you tried, what is your favorite for, for POTA for Parks on the Air? That is a really good question. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's. I'm just going to kind of name off some of the antennas I've used in the last year. Uh, of course, the um, the Wolf River Coil, mm -hmm. the um, my homebrew Link Dipole mm -hmm. uh, that Russian does 20 and 40 meters. Yeah, 20, 20 and 40 meters. Mm -hmm. uh, all of that chameleon stuff, the Impasse 2, the vertical, the wire, uh, their TDL, that... Um, uh, Delta loop, uh, mm -hmm. the tactical delta loop. I can't, I think, a tactical. And the, um, um, what's that last one I've been using? Oh, they're um, NFED half wave. Yes. And I think there's there's three that I like. Of course, the the the, the link dipole, the NFED half wave, and uh, the Wolf River coil. And if I only had to pick one antenna, I would probably. Oh man, this is so hard. Um, I might have I I might have to go with the Wolf River Coil, only because it gives me the versatility, or it, it you know it I can get on all bands, mm -hmm. and I don't have to worry about getting it into a tree. And if right. I'm in a, in a day use area, that might be the case. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, mm -hmm. otherwise. Man, that you know, if I can if do it, if, if I camp can... it for a weekend, it's not it's nothing to get a wire antenna. No, but if it's going to be I... come in, get your fifty contacts, drive mm -hmm. away, you got to be quick about it. Yep, yep, so, absolutely. Yep. And, and I agree, a hundred percent. Vertical for a quick and easy vertical for the afternoon photo operations is perfect. Whatever we'll foil. Um, I use a buddy stick. You use the buddy uh, stick, which yep. is the same concept. Yep, absolutely. Same concept. Uh, once you figure out how you know tune it, it's not a problem. Yeah, but but if I yeah, but if you're gonna be, if, if I'm camping, I got a NFED ten through eighty uh, MCOM three from Chameleon is what I use, um, and we've used link dipoles. We've mm -hmm. made you know, I think one year you and I made a or you made for. Winter field day, I think you made a uh, flat top. Yep. Uh, uh, 160 flat top. And, you know, uh, getting some wire in a tree is going to work the best. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. if you got the trees, you got to have time to get it set up. It takes a little bit of time that I like. I, I really enjoy that, that 2040 meter link dipole. The only thing I don't like about it is you got to lower the antenna when you want to do a band change. But right. um, otherwise, if I get that thing on the air, I mean, I'm it's, it's it's wall to wall it's wall to wall pileups. You know you can you might as well do QRP <laughs> at that at that point. Well, um, that's that, not, let's not go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Last couple activations I've used or the NFED half wave too, um, because it's it's if it's really convenient if I if I can't find you know suitable trees to to tie off the antenna on both ends, then that N, then then the NFED comes out. So yeah, yep. Yeah, NFEDs are another super easy. Get yeah. it up in the air quick. But yeah, but I recommend anybody. You know, if if you're putting together an antenna kit, think you know, think of think of a vertical, and uh, think of a wire antenna. Mm -hmm. And the vertical can be any kind of vertical. It can be it can be a set of ham sticks. I got a, that's right. I got the I got the ham sticks too. Um, I might pull those out. Uh, you have the. I don't think you've used them yet, but you have the hustlers. Yep. Yep, I got to retune it uh, because I got I got the hustlers from Brent's estate, but they're all tuned for the bottom of the band. I wonder and, why. And, <laughs> and it, well, for the bottom of the band, and also it was side mounted on his minivan, so I'm sure I I got to I got to I got to readjust for that too. So. Yeah, I'm sure his minivan is alone with a loading coil. <laughs> <laughs> So that was a that was a great question. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q and A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at seven o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. 
Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.